What's up guys, Early here once again bringing you another model for 3 commentary. This time it is a domination on Village. I am using a Scarlet, an MP9, Scavenger Pro, Assassin Pro, and Dead Silence Pro. My kill streaks are a Predator Missile, a Reaper, and an Assault Juggernaut. Now since this commentary is 9 minutes long, I want to talk, I want to give my insight on Model for 3's multiplayer, give my opinions on the guns, the masks, the kill streaks, and the perks, and all that stuff. Just, I can give you an idea of what to use. You can try stuff out, see if you like it, and just hope to help you out. Uh, I guess we can start off with the guns. Um, the Scarlet is probably my favorite gun in the game. Uh, really, the only guns I use are assault rifles. So, that's in most of the gameplay, as you will see me using assault rifles, but a lot of times we're going to have to switch it up to keep things a little bit fresh, you know. So I'll be, you will see a lot of gameplays of submachine guns, LMGs, maybe the occasional gameplay of snipers. I really, really, really hate snipers, quit scopers, just anything that's not off, I just hate it. Um, after Call of Duty 4, it got really, really old. Call of Duty 4 was like the only good sniper game, I guess you could say. But yeah, anything with a sniper rifle, I just absolutely hate. So I, but I will give you a sniper rifle gameplay. Don't worry about that. But yeah, the Scarlet definitely my favorite gun to use. It's it, I don't no, I don't really know much about in depth of the guns and stuff like time to kill, the headshot multipliers and stuff and all that, and how many rounds it shoots and all that. So I'm just gonna give you the basic my opinion of the Scarlet. Um, it feels like it's high damage. It kills people fast. It doesn't have much recoil. That's pretty much it. <laughs> it's good. It feels good to use. So I use it. I dominate with it. So I use it quite often. And I, I'm going to be trying to use it more. I've been seeing myself go over to the ACR a lot more. And the ACR isn't near as fun to use as a SCAR. So I'm going to try not to use it as much. But, yeah, as you saw in my last gameplay, that's what I was using, so... I mean, expect more gameplay of the ACR, but not near as much as the SCAR, I guess. But I guess we can start talking about the maps. And I would have to say the maps in Marvel for 3 are the worst maps in any other Call of Duty. The only Call of Duty I haven't played is Call of Duty 1, so... I guess I can't say of all the Call of Duties, but nobody really cares about anything multiplayer-wise before Call of Duty 4, I guess. Everybody says Call of Duty 2 multiplayer is good. But I bought it a couple of years back. All anybody did was snipe. And like I said earlier, I hate snipers, so I got rid of it. Very, very quickly. And Call of Duty 3 multiplayer just absolutely sucked. Just terribly. I don't know how it was when it first came out. But I know how it is now. And I know it is... I believe it is the most hated Call of Duty in the history of Call of Duties. Um... When you see people's top five Call of Duties, or whatever their top three, whatever, and their most hated Call of Duty, Call of Duty Three is never on their favorites, and it's like always in their least favorites and most hated. So I'd say it is the worst Call of Duty. But like I said, I haven't played Call of Duty One, so I can't really give you a full opinion on it, I guess. But yeah, just stay away from Call of Duty Three. But really, stay away from any old Call of Duties. Cause most of them are filled with hackers or nobody's playing them now yeah the maps um, my, there's a, probably only three good maps that I can think of off the top of my head I'm all for three and that is village sea town and now terminal so before the free terminal map there's only two good maps and that's definitely not a good thing I don't know why they failed so much with the maps I guess Sledgehammer has something to do with it, I don't know, but Black Ops didn't really have any good maps, really, if you think about it. They had a couple of decent ones. Nuketown was great. Everybody loved Nuketown, obviously. That's why it's coming back in Black Ops 2 or a different version of it. I don't know. Somebody knows if it's going to be the same or if it's going to be just a slight different version. Then just comment below, because I've been wanting to know that. Just been too lazy to look it up. But yeah, everybody loved Nuketown. I never saw one bad thing about Nuketown. Um, I've been trying to get you some gameplay of Terminal, but there's not many games of Terminal going on that I can get into. 
I don't know why Infinity War wouldn't add a terminal only playlist of like dominations and stuff, but hey, it was a free map, a free map from Offer 2, one of the best maps in Call of Duty history, so I guess you can't really say much about it. And as you saw right there, I jumped off of that cliff, and if somebody knows this as well, can they please tell me? It feels like in a juggernaut suit that the fall damage is a lot more. I don't know if it's just I'm a lot slower, so it makes me think I'm heavier and make and it just tricks my mind into thinking that the fall damage is like double or something, or if the fall damage is actually like that. So if somebody knows, just please comment below. I've been wanting to know that, but just like earlier, too lazy to look it up. So I never think about it while I'm on YouTube. I'm too busy watching other commentators' videos and all that stuff. Yeah, if you know it, just please comment below. Um, I guess we can start talking about the kill streaks now. My favorite uh, kill streaks to use would probably be Predator, Reaper, and Juggernaut. Because I usually get high kill streaks. So I'll probably get a Reaper every game. Not guaranteeing the Juggernaut seat, but I most likely will get a Reaper in every single game unless my team's just totally getting wrecked. We're getting spawn camp, stuff like that. But yeah, I'd highly recommend that kill streak setup if you have like a 1.50 KD like I have 1.50 above somewhere around there as long as you're good enough to get a Reaper then you will probably get a juggernaut suit most likely if you can get to a, a good spot to call in the Reaper like stay on your laptop for a while and not get killed which isn't really that hard but sometimes you you think a way is safe and it turns out there's a dude waiting around the corner and he kills you and it just it makes you pretty mad because the Juggernaut, you don't really see many people get Assault Juggernauts. Because they're a 15 point streak, kill streak, whatever you want to say. I believe, I believe it's 15. So not many people get it. I don't, I don't think a lot, many, a lot of many people use it. Most people send, tend to stay on the support kill streak, which I really hate the support kill streaks. I don't really know how you can get awarded for dying over and over, especially with a stealth bomber or EMP. I mean, I don't understand how two of the highest level or highest kill kill streaks in Marvel 2 can go down to the easiest, some of the easiest kill streaks to get, just because you can easily get one every single game you play, no matter what your loadout. at, even just like a, I don't know, some crappy gun with thermal or something. I don't know, but. I can go into any game of support kill streaks and get every single support, every single top support kill streak that I set up. It's just that easy. I don't know what they was really thinking about when they put that in the game. It's, I, that's, I don't know. That's all I'm going to talk about with the support kill streaks. They're, they're stupid. I hate them. But the Juggernaut suit. This would have to be my favorite kill streak in the game. As you see. In this gameplay, I'm just dominating with it. The enemy team can't stop me. I'm just cap and C over and over and over again. I mean, it, the Juggernaut suit's pretty much unstoppable. There's only a couple of downsides of it. M60's not the best weapon in the game, but it's definitely not the worst. I believe it's the only LMG in the game that takes two shots to kill close range. I, I believe all but the M60 have take three shots in any range but the, LM, but the M60 takes two shots to kill at close range but the video is ending uh, I will talk more about this in my next commentary uh, please like the video comment on the video favorite the video and goodbye YouTube I will see you in my next commentary